I do think there need to be some radical changes. Um, The president has not yet um, has not yet been able to demonstrate the stability uh, nor some of the competence that he needs to demonstrate in order to be successful. And uh, and we need for him to be successful. Our nation needs for him to be successful. It doesn't matter whether you're Republican or Democrat. We need for our president. The world needs our president to be successful. He also recently has not demonstrated that he understands the character of this nation. Um, he has not demonstrated um, that he understands what has made this nation great and what it is today. And he's got to demonstrate the characteristics of a president who understands that. Um, and without the things that I just mentioned happening, um, our nation is going to go through a great peril. So um, I, um, I want to do everything I can. I think uh, in spite of the fact that people are polarized in our nation right now, people have to understand that, that uh, we should hope that he aspires, that he does some self-reflection, that he does what is necessary to uh, to demonstrate stability, to demonstrate uh, competence, to demonstrate that uh, he understands the character and nation, the character of our nation, and and works daily to to bring out the best in the people of our nation. Um, you know, helping inspire um, divisions because it it generate support from your political base um, is it, not a formula for causing our nation to advance, our nation to overcome the, the many issues that we have to deal with right now. Mr. Cohen um, from Memphis uh, says that he's trying to, you know, impeach um, Trump okay. earlier today. That was, can we have a reaction on that? I, I don't. Yeah. You talked a little bit about your ability to kind of influence the president and, and I, I, my understanding was that you were trying to do that, you know, to, to better, you know, steer him in a direction that would be more productive. Is that accurate? And, and do you think people from the outside might misunderstand that as blind support of things that seem kind of crazy? Yeah, I get up daily and uh, read various publication, publications around our country and certainly around our state recently. And, you know, I, I give the same talk at the same place, and yet... <laughs> One side saying I'm way too critical, the other side saying that, uh, you know, I'm way too, uh, uh, look, you know, it's uh, those of us who have positions of responsibility, um, we have to uh, understand that at the end of the day, in spite of whether people misunderstand or understand differently that our our role is is to make our nation great to overcome these issues and it takes far more discipline sometimes way more discipline a lot more strength inner strength to to uh, to be measured and to try to to try to solve problems, but I, I will say we're at a point uh, where there, there needs to be radical changes take place um, at the White House itself. It has to happen. Uh, I think our president needs to take stock of the role that he plays in our nation and, and, uh, and, and move beyond himself, move way beyond himself and move to a place uh, where daily he's waking up thinking about what is best for our nation. Can you touch on Charlottesville, your thoughts on that? Are you still considering this an act of terrorism? And do you know about the rally planned tonight in Chattanooga? I don't, I don't know anything about the rally uh, that's planned. Um, obviously, it is an act of terrorism, and nothing's changed there. Um, it's repugnant what occurred uh, in Charlottesville. Uh, and anything that's done to, to incite or to cause a movement, a uh, white supremacy group, a KKK group, a neo-Nazi group, anything that's said to 
make them feel that their standing in our nation is enhanced is repugnant. Um, so um, I, uh, I don't know what else I can say. Um, the, uh, it needs to end. Um, we need to figure out a way as a nation um, to quit fueling uh, the hatred, quit fueling the polarity that exists and, and speak to the, the good things in our nation. Uh, white supremacy groups, neo-Nazi groups, KKK groups are, are not what's good about our nation. Uh, they're to be, they're to be, uh, they're to be called out for what they are, and that is repugnant. Has President Trump done enough to call them out in your mind? So you guys always try to get us into that, and uh, I mean that's you know yesterday at Rotary Club or Chamber in Knoxville, same thing occurred. I. Uh, I don't think that the president has appropriately spoken to the nation on this issue, and uh, I think that um, uh, sometimes he gets in a situation where he doubles down to try to prove a make a wrong a right. Um, I think he's done that in this case, and um, I, I, w I would ask that he take stock of who he is as president of all the people in our nation and that he condemned those things that are separating us.